today we are going on a two-day road trip down the eastern coast of Taiwan, which is arguably one of the most beautiful places on Earth. I'm meeting up with another cool content creator named Monica, and another friend we made here in Taiwan named Zoe. And we are going to show you why Taiwan is one of the most underrated countries in the world. On day one, we started with a famous viewpoint along the coast. Okay, we are here on our first day here in Hualien. We have Zoe here. And then that's Monica back there taking a cool video. And we are at like one of the prettiest places ever. The water is so blue. I love blue water. It was nice, but we decided we should try to find some other places with fewer tourists. So Monica found a hidden waterfall on Google Maps that we decided to go check out. On our way there, we stopped along the coast for a quick swim. <laughs> Jump in the water, you won't. But as we were driving, we stumbled upon this gorgeous rice field and just had to stop to take photos. Heading to the next waterfall, we decided to stop at this uh, cool rice field because it's gorgeous. And I'd say it ended up being a fantastic decision. We got rained out, <laughs> but look at that! Ah, where'd it go? Wait, you're not here. Let me try again. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay guys, so we just made it to the waterfall that we're coming to. It stopped raining luckily, and we just like parked our bikes <laughs> up here on the side of the road. And uh, the road is a bit steep, so we'll see how it goes. So you guys, we're hiking through like literal jungle here. <laughs> the path is probably like six inches wide, and we're just like hiking through here. But it looks gorgeous. I love finding places like this because not very many people come here. It feels a lot more like real hear the waterfall. Oh no, we found it! Wow! That's gorgeous. Walking through the water. Whoa, that was cold. Oh, it's cold. Ah! That is freezing. Just made it back to the bikes. And uh, sunset's in like, 
What time is it? We got like 20. Sunsets now, actually. And so we're gonna go home. Yeah, I actually saw the sunset colors while we were down there. I know, it looks, you can see it a little bit. Now we're gonna head home, and that is it for today. <laughs> Bug in my face. <laughs> wow, okay. On day two, we decided to drive through the famous Taroko National Park to a sunset hike on the other side. Today, we might be going to the most beautiful place in all of Taiwan. We are now going through Taroko National Park, which is like the most famous national park in Taiwan. And we're going to a really cool lookout point that you're going to want to see. However, we quickly ran into a pretty big problem. Well, we just got to this tunnel, and apparently it's closed. They're doing construction from 8.30 to 5 every day, and so we have to wait until 10 before we can go through. It's very sad. <sighs> I know, we got here at 8.39, so we missed it by 9 minutes. And all these people did too. Honestly, places that are really mainstream and get a lot of hype and a lot of visitors every year are almost always overrated in my opinion. And I was definitely expecting Taroko Gorge to be the same, but man was I wrong. This place was one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen. Just the drive up was absolutely stunning. that driving a scooter with one hand is extremely difficult. As we kept getting higher, we rode through the clouds, which was an incredible experience. But eventually, we made it to the parking lot. Finally made it guys, after a long, long journey. It's like three hours of actual driving. What time is it right now? One. It's one. One. We left it. Eight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we left it eight. <laughs> so it took us five hours. We did wait an hour and a half. We waited though. an hour and a half at one stop and another half an hour at another stop. So I guess that makes sense, five hours. But dang, that was a long trip. My butt hurts. Well, we, we should have just left half an hour late because <laughs> we weren't going to make it anyway. <laughs> Hi, it's really cold outside, but look at how beautiful it is. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. And I decided to wash my clothes yesterday and we were up all the time to pick them up and so I was going to pick them up this morning but this fool told me we didn't have enough time and so I'm wearing like short shorts and it's like literally 40 degrees right now. Let's take a look at the outfit. Yeah, yeah. There's people wearing winter jackets and this guy's wearing shorts. <laughs> <laughs> And we're planning on coming back after sunset for another two hours 
on a bike. That's gonna be tough. I'm not doing that camp. If we I'm find if we find sweatshirts, I'll do it. I'm literally gonna die. I'm literally in the straight sun at 1 p.m. the hottest time of day, and I want to shoot myself. <laughs> 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 we are now starting the hike. Fortunately, hiking helped me warm yeah, up we pretty go. fast, and the hike was equally as gorgeous. So, this hike is actually super short. It's only 1.2 miles round trip, I think, but it has 1,000 feet of elevation, and the whole hike is only like, well, going one way is about 3,000 feet, so it's just going to be stairs the whole time. It reminded me of some places in the Swiss Alps, but with less rocky mountains. We even found this cool abandoned building where we took some more cool pictures. And as we were just about to reach the top, the clouds completely covered the peak. <laughs> We are literally in a cloud, but we made it to the top. Look at that. 3,421 meters. Boom. Here's Monica. Monica even found some shelter under some bushes that helped a little bit. We tried to take as many shots as we could and wait for the clouds to move, but unfortunately they never did. and eventually we had to start making our way down with these two German friends that we made at the top. Ho ho ho! Okay guys, we just made it down to the bottom of the trailhead. <laughs> there's a couple other trails that you can go. And there's also like some lodges here. So you can like come up here. We drove all the way from Hualiam, so it's a three hour drive. But you can also like stay in different places along here. Close to the mountain, so. It's a long drive. I'd probably recommend staying here if you come up here. To end the trip, we descended a little bit to get out of the clouds and found this nice lookout point for sunset. And it was just about as magical as sunsets get. Besides that, basically every single thing went wrong on this trip. It rained for our entire drive, the clouds covered the view at the top of the hike, I didn't have warm enough clothing, and we actually also got locked inside the national park that night. However, this was a perfect example that despite things not working out how you expect, you can still have an incredible trip because of the people that you're with. Okay guys, that's it for today. I had to buy these leggings. I don't know if you can see this. <laughs> I bought these leggings for 12 and a half dollars because I was gonna freeze. <laughs> But there goes our German friends. Bye-bye. <laughs> and that is all. So see you later.